Guys, we're gonna do some uh, inspection videos for you guys. Uh, we'll probably do a small series on inspections. And uh, we're gonna start off where you really should start off when you're looking to purchase with the frame. Okay, it's just like you don't build a house on a lousy foundation. I feel the same about a DeLorean. You really need to know the condition of the frame. Um, we'll take a look at this one. This is mostly original epoxy. Looks like a pretty good frame, but we're gonna check this over together. I see right here, there's a couple of spots where uh, it's been painted over. It doesn't really bother me. Uh, somebody's mainly cosmetically touching up this frame and do a little bit of preventive maintenance on getting any chipped epoxy recovered. Coming back here to the fuel tank, there's a little bit of surface rust on these. These are kind of known to take brake fluid damage and need to be recoded. This has been recoded. It's a little bit of somebody at some point may want to, you know, coat this thing again. I'm not even sure this is rust coming through, but it is some discoloration. Something just worth noting. Come back around to the back. See up in here sometimes where these trailing arms are attached guys you'll see rust up in here so that's a great thing that you're almost going to have to do your own visual inspection on to try to get photos and video of this you know how well this is showing up for us it's hard but up in here i've seen on some cars most commonly areas are going to be the front crumple tube which we shot at the beginning of this uh that's the thinnest let's come back up there and i'll show you guys this this portion right here is the thinnest sheet metal on the frame it's meant this was one of the first vehicles to have crash safety, uh, where this was meant to crumple, had crash crumple zones. Um, and so this is made of thinner gauge steel than the rest of the frame. And it's kind of really important that this stays rust free because of how thin it is. Um, I'm gonna come back here to our other problematic area, what I would call the engine cradle. So uh, this lower portion of the frame that kind of cradles the motor, you can get some rust in here. And here's a tricky one, guys, another tricky one. You can get shots of the underside of the frame. A lot of times you'll see uh, shots on a lift where you see the underside. It is most important to get in here where the lower control arms attach. This is where your frame's gonna fail. Uh, and then in here, you can see these, this is, uh, a, there's a little bit of staining in here. I, this looks to be mostly completely original epoxy, very solid in here. There's some, uh, you know, it's a little dirty and some discoloration, but the epoxy seems to be there. This hook, tow hook, I can tell, has been touched up. Um, but the inside of that lower control arm area and this entire engine cradle looks really solid on this car. Again, we got some rather recode here. If you look close, you can catch the brush strokes in this. But again, I think that's cosmetic. You can see even under here, there's some original epoxy. And somebody was just kind of trying to pretty things up here not covering up any. I'm not worried about surface rust, guys. The, the real culprit you're looking for here is rot. Flaking metal or holes, rotted metal. And uh, so that's kind of gave you a good go over this. I'm gonna try to give you a, a few more comparisons of maybe one frame that's nicer than this and a frame that's not as nice as this. I think this is kind of a, Good middle of the road, nice, solid, uh, cosmetically been touched up frame. Uh, this is what you're gonna see on most DeLoreans. And this is a car I would not be afraid of the condition of. So guys, here we are underneath a car that I got some concerns on. So I wanna show you this. This is a frame that you know has some peeling epoxy here for sure. Um, this isn't anything I'm terribly concerned about. This should be scraped off, ground down, uh, metal etched, put a rust treatment on it and a top coat that kind of matches. Um, we got a little bit of flaking metal here. Something you should be, con you know, this is what I'm looking for. This is what bothers me, okay? Flaking epoxy is not, the metal under here is firm. But back here, we'll pan back again. This is a small spot I'm not terribly concerned with, but this is the type of rot you're looking for, okay? So kind of moving on back, that's a small area, not something to get too whipped up about, but definitely not as clean as some of the other frames we've looked at. Back here, we got some more peeling epoxy. Anytime you got something like that, you kind of want to blow that open and see what the metal looks like underneath, okay? So looking at this together, got a little bit, not much I'm worried about there. So again, this is going to be scraped this up, grind it clean, get it, you know, get this treated properly. Usually you can do a POR on these 
You can do a, um, a Rust-Oleum Rusty Metal Primer and then uh, a top coat. Again, come back here. This engine cradle portion we talked about, front and back and underside look pretty good. So I want you guys to imagine now, you've seen some of the photos probably on some of these classic car sites. They give you a shot of the underside of the frame. You get something like this angle back here, and maybe you get a middle, maybe you get a front, all right? And that's really all you get. The important thing, and I recommend if you guys are buying a car sight unseen, frame condition is important. Check out what we see in this cavity by the control arm. That's rock, a lot of it. This is blown completely open. My finger is through the frame. Okay, there's a spot here. Come around to the other side. There's a spot here. I am, you know, putting my finger right through this. There's nothing there. That is rot, deterioration, frame is gone there. Now think about that guy who bought this with just an underside shot. This is what you will never get for me, if somebody buys this car from us, they will absolutely see photos of this. They will know the frame has been compromised. Guys, this can be cut out and patched in. We have a welder named Jim who's worked for us since we opened. He can cut this bottom plate off, cut this rod out until he's got solid metal, weld in a patch, put this cover back on, and it's hard to tell he's been there, okay? So don't let somebody talk you into this frame needs to be replaced. If you have the budget, great. Buy a new frame. Put it on a car. If you're trying to do a DeLorean on a cheap, this absolutely can be repaired. And that's the two spots. I see a soft spot on the left side of the cradle, a soft spot on the right side of the cradle. The rest of this mainly looks like scraping paint. So, um, but something you should be aware of and get this photo from in this, inside of this cavity. You want a shot of that if you're going to buy a car sight unseen. And if you're going to deal with rot like this, you want to know what you're getting into. All right, guys, so this is one of the worst frames that we've seen uh, at DMC Midwest as far as deterioration and frame rot is concerned. Uh, we actually did a frame swap on this car, so we still have the frame around the shop here, but uh, obviously this thing is not going down the road again. Um, but this car sat in a, uh, in a garage up in Wisconsin right next to a lake for about 30 years. Um, in on concrete, every time it would get real warm out, the concrete would sweat, and then it would freeze real hard in the winter time. And just a ton of moisture in this garage um, ultimately contributed to the deterioration of the frame. Um, but the guy also drove it in the winter time too, so it, it had seen some salt and, and a lot of a lot of winter driving, um, which also didn't help things. So we'll show you that now, and uh, you can see exactly what we're talking about. Okay, so just looking at the engine cradle portion of the frame right now, you can see, uh, obviously there's a lot of rust and there's some holes up here. Uh, what the previous owner did was coat some of this rust with POR15 to try and slow it down. Uh, ultimately, at that point, it was, was too little too late as most of the damage had already been done. But you can see lots of holes back here. This is definitely something if you're looking for a DeLorean, you wanna check out. Uh, and if you see something like this, run. You don't want You don't wanna get yourself into this mess unless you're planning on doing a frame replacement. Um, one of the real alarming areas that caught me when I looked at this car was right here with the lower control arm bolts on. Um, the structural integrity of the metal is completely gone there. There's actually a hole um, in the frame right where all the, right where all the, the stress goes uh, and that is very dangerous to drive that way. Holes there. Lots of POR15 up there which uh, Obviously, will help neutralize the rust, but at this point, again, it's it's way too little, too late. Got a little, got a little Wi-Fi going in on this one. That frame is remote. <laughs> All right, so up here looking at the front crumple tube portion now, and actually if you grab onto this crumple tube, you can, can move the whole thing around. It's actually about to break off. Um, but just looking up here, this is completely rotted out in here. Um, up under, actually, Mike is wiggling right now. Go ahead, Mike, and yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, it's an adjustable suspension right there. <laughs> that's not what you want out of your you DeLorean can, frame. You can adjust your camera and caster on this one. <laughs> totally rotted out under here as well. Um, this is not a good frame. Definitely want to steer clear of this. I 
and I think it's safe to say that this one is beyond repair at this point. Thanks for tuning in for this first video of our inspection series covering the frame. Um, these videos are out are here for you guys so you make an educated uh, decision when purchasing a car. It breaks my heart when somebody comes in and finds out after the fact when we're inspecting a car that they've got some serious issues. So uh, if you can educate yourself and make a good buying decision, that's the, my best advice for you. Uh, another useful tool for this is James, James Espy's uh, the Illustrated Buyer's Guide to DeLorean Automobiles. And this is really dives deep, guys. If you want to uh, really do your homework and, and educate yourself to the best of your abilities, uh, this is an inexpensive book that I recommend. Uh, also, don't forget to like and subscribe. We, we hope to do more of these videos uh, to show you the things that I look for when inspecting a car or purchasing a DeLorean. And, uh, and thanks for watching.